growing up, when after I had come out onto the gay scene and been out myself, I realised that there were lots of people around me that who seemed to be struggling with depression, anxiety, addictions, and it was so common that people just thought it was normal. So no one really ever addressed it or talked about it. I started to realise I had some of those problems myself. I was kind of, you know, behaving erratically, drinking too much kind of engaging in kind of patterns of self-destructive behavior and there was no one that could really help. I asked for help a lot, but there was no one with any answers. So I think in about 2008, 2009, I went into recovery from my own issues and I finally met a gay therapist who said, well, of course you screwed up you're gay, which was a very confronting thing. But the, the, he then went on to explain, well, it's not your sexuality in itself, it's the fact you've grown up gay in a society which doesn't value or support LGBT people. And so we internalize that, you know, internalized homophobia, self-hatred and, and so on. And it was like a light bulb coming on for me and no one had really written about it. It was really painful writing the book. I was still working at Attitude. There were you know, friends of mine who were suffering. I was still struggling with some of my issues, trying to work on my own recovery, which is ongoing and will always be ongoing. I started to become more and more aware that there was a drugs crisis, that you know people were dying from overdoses and the drugs problem was massive, certainly in London and in other cities and other places in the UK. And I felt a huge pressure. It was incredibly painful, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, above all of these things, it's things that I struggle with myself. I think we can't pretend that we're, we're not in a difficult place. We are in a difficult place. These drugs aren't going to go away. So I think we really need to have a wider discussion, make it a priority to talk about mental health problems amongst LGBT people and how we can support each other and how we can support our friends and our family and, and not judge people and just make it something that it's okay to talk about. I think going into recovery is something that needs to be as much a part of gay culture as RuPaul and Kylie and all those people that, that we that we like. This needs to be a real kind of center point and keystone of, of, of the LGBT experience.